I'd like to welcome in Julieta Granada into the media center, uh, your co-leader after round two. Uh, you Walking up here, you said you'd never led after round one or round two. Uncharted territory for you this weekend. Yeah, this is a new experience. So, um, you know, I'm excited. This is all very new, and it's going to make me a better player regardless of what happens this weekend. So I'm excited. One under in that win. Pretty pleased with that round? Yeah, I actually hit the ball pretty well. I had um, I had control of my ball flight out there. It's hit, um, I picked a couple of wrong clubs, um, a couple of three putts here and there. But, you know, overall, you know, it was an up and down round, but I'm happy with uh, one under. Well, yeah, talk about the, the, the wind whirling, uh, swirling the way it did and how that benefits you going into the weekend. It's supposed to be just like this both Saturday and Sunday, perhaps a little warmer, but the same wind conditions. Yeah, if it's windy, you know, it's it's good for me. I I feel like I have control of my ball flight when, you know, when I'm swinging it good and um I feel like I I play better, better in in the wind and you know, obviously today was a little bit different. It was a little bit more sideways for some reason than yesterday. Yesterday we just felt more into or down. Or today we had to play a little bit more side wind. But, you know, I'm I'm looking forward to this weekend. I mean, the tougher the better. Your, your natural flight's a little lower anyway. Is that, I mean, did you just grow up hitting it that way, or how did, how did you develop that? No, actually, um, I just kind of recently figured out that I'm pretty good in the wind. <laughs> I looked at my results, and most, most of my good results come usually in windy conditions. So um, I guess, yeah, I do have a lower ball flight, and, you know, I, I work a lot in trying to control that ball flight, and, um, you know, it's, it's exciting. And I was going to ask you, uh, Julieta, do you consider the course in conditions like this, is it easier um, to, to come back to the field to have a, to have a big <laughs> score, or is it easier to make up ground? Um, well, I guess it depends the state of your game, right? If, if you're feeling confident, then you can definitely make up ground. I feel like, I feel like in this course, the start is super key. Um, I feel like... Um, you know, one through five are, are really tough holes, and then the course gives you a break for a little while, and then, you know, 18 comes back, and it's a really tough finishing hole. So um, you just have to manage yourself a lot in the beginning. You just kind of stay cool, and then um, you're going to have holes to make birdies at. Sorry, as we look at kind of at the bigger uh, picture of the, of the race to, C, uh, to the CME Globe, <laughs> Um, and we look at NB now eight shots behind and, and, uh, and Stacy six shots behind. Is that a tough spot to be in on a course like this or can ground be made up quickly, do you think? Not that you care. No, obviously not. I'm kidding. Of course I care. Um, but no, I mean, I think, I think if, you know, they go out there and shoot a low one tomorrow, I mean, I saw the scores today. They, they look pretty low to me. I didn't think the course was playing that easy. So you can obviously make up a lot of ground really quick. Um, but in order to do that, your game has to be on. You can't, you can't be a little bit off because the win and, and the, the toughness of the course will show it.